All right, welcome to another video. Um, today's video, we're going to cover the topic of money. Uh, the money that um, you can make or that I made while I was on board or stationed on the ship. As a lot of you guys know, um, my assignment, my first assignment here in Hawaii was stationed on board one of the naval ships. And so today's video, I'm just going to go over what I was, what I was making while I was stationed on, on board the ship. So I have a handy dandy a whiteboard and we're going to go over the entitlements. So things that I actually brought in before taxes and then we're going to go over deduction. So let me go ahead and write down some of the things that I want to cover, the topics I'm going to cover and then I'll go over each one and briefly explain what each of them are. Alright, so we'll cover the entitlements first. So entitlements before taxes. So base pay, this is um, this kind of goes off of your your rank and it goes off your time in service. So this is gonna be different for um, pretty much everyone, but there is a chart that you can uh, look up and I'll pop that up here on the screen. So there's a chart as you can see the number of years to about how much base pay would be uh, for each rank. And then this right here is the BAS. So this is what they give us as far as subsidies for uh, food. And as you see, the base pay, $2,891.40. The BAS, like I said, uh, we just know this as money for food, $372.71. And then BAH, so this is uh, for housing. This, is, this should cover like rent, expenses, um, and utilities. $2,445 and then CPAY so this changes when I first got to the ship uh, I think it was like 45 or $50 a month and as the longer that you're on sea duty or you're on a sea duty platform uh, this right here actually increases so for me uh, when I left the ship I think I was getting or my LES showed that I was getting about 350 a month so CPAY and then you also have COLA, so cost of living allowance, and this is uh, for the island of Oahu. So this is going to be different for each location, um, but for us, it is three hundred and ninety-one dollars and twenty-nine cents, which all of this together before taxes comes out to six thousand four hundred and fifty dollars and forty cents. And then if you look over here, we have taxes. So they take out two hundred and ninety-one dollars and fifty-one cents a month in taxes. Uh, my social security that is uh, one hundred and seventy nine dollars and twenty seven cents. So Medicare, this is what uh, pays for medical expenses, hospital bills, things like that. So technically, it's not free in the military because you still pay per month, but uh, it's a lot cheaper than you would or that like most civilians and most uh, insurance companies charge. So that right there. Um, $41.93. Then you have your SGLI. So SGLI covers uh, if something wants to happen to me. So if I was to, to die or some type of trauma was to happen, that's where your SGLI can come into play. Um, and then the AFRH, um, it's a retirement home um, funding. It's mandatory for uh, everyone. So they can take up to a dollar, but it looks like uh, I only get 50 cents. And I don't really have any, any, any say or any doing with that one, um, but that's an automatic deduction. So mill deduction, being stationed on the ship, since we technically have a galley, uh, and the military provides three meals for us, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, they give you the BAS, which is 372.71, but they take majority of it because they technically feed us, um, because we do have the option of eating on the ship. So we get to keep a little bit of that because they only take three hundred and twenty-eight dollars and sixty cents of the three seventy-two seventy-one, but obviously they take a lot of it. Whenever you're stationed on a ship or um, your command has some type of dining facilities, then they will take your meal deduction or your BAS and TSP. So I do contribute to TSP and I have been contributing to TSP for a while now, and I do highly recommend. Uh, 
if you have not started contributing to it, um, look into doing it because it is uh, one of those kind of long-term investments. So, uh, my deductions are three thousand five hundred and sixty-seven dollars and fifty-one cents. That is taken out of this big number right here. So, if we add up these two. Or if we subtract these two right here, then we come up to $2,882.49. So this right here is probably going to be like the larger uh, payment that I would get for the month because as military we get paid on the 1st and on the 15th. So if you add in our mid-month pay, which is 2000 Four hundred and eighty-one dollars and thirty-nine cents. So monthly, I should bring in about five thousand three hundred sixty-three dollars and eighty-eight cents while I was stationed on the ship. Now, if you look at your BH, like I say, which is for your rent, your utilities, um, things like that. Majority of this, since Hawaii is very expensive when it comes to living. Um, majority of your BH goes towards wherever you are renting or wherever you're staying along with the price of the electricity and the water. So you can almost take out pretty much this whole amount right here and that would bring us to the $2,882.49 at the end of the month that you have to pay other expenses living, groceries, and things like that. So, as you can see, um, you do make uh, a good amount of money, but they do take a lot of the money. And as you see with TSP, a lot of that money goes into future investments and future funds um, or investing into the future. And at the end of the day, you're pretty much left with $2,880.49. Like I said, this is uh, for me while I was stationed on the ship. It obviously changed because my time on the ship uh, was extended, so pay changes. Uh, also, I picked up rank twice while I was there, so that also changed my base pay. And there are other incentives that you can get, like when we go on deployment, you can get uh, certain hazard duty pays depending on what area that you're in. Also, flight, flight deck pay. Uh, for the times that we have helicopters landing on the deck and things like that. And I'm going to go over some of the other special pays just real quick. And I'll leave this link down in the description box if you want to look at. Uh, this is on military.com. It's a pay calculator. So advanced diver, <clears throat> combat swimmer, EOD divers, uh, demolition pay. There's combatant swimmer. Special pay, there's also EOD driver pay, EOD assistant, flight deck duty pay, which uh, we get during deployment, or if it's a long underway, you have extended duty special pay, foreign language pay for multiple languages or for a single language, hardship duty pay, hazard pay, hazard non crew pay. Um, there's a lot of them here jump pay, master diver, master EOD tech, uh, medical dive tech, special op tech. Um, scuba diver, the sea pay, which is also considered a special duty pay. Um, and then you also have additional bonuses or additional special pays. That is if you do something like a re enlistment, um, things like that, because you certain rates do get re enlistment bonuses. And uh, that also is like a if you do it correctly or if you do it smartly while you're underway or in a location that does not pull taxes. Uh, that way you can get more of that bonus. Overall, I hope this video helped you guys out and gave you some information, gave you some insight. If you did like the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment anything down below if you have any questions about anything that I went over or um, uh, if you want me to go in depth on any other part of, of pay when it comes to the military. Uh, right now, I'm not on the ship anymore. I moved from the ship to shore duty. So obviously, this is different now because I do not get like the CPay, and um, I do get my BAS, 
So there are some 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 pay cuts, I guess you could say, for me moving from the ship to shore. But um, that's how it's going to be whenever it comes time for PCSing. So like I was in Cuba for 18 months, technically supposed to be on the ship for three years, got extended for a year and a half, um, almost two years. So uh, different commands, different territories, different areas that you PCS to or that you are at is going to be uh, is going to show a little bit different when it comes to figures, but a roundabout is uh, around in this area. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you drop a like on this video, comment something down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos when I come out with them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.